the World Series hurdle will kick off day two. And it's a three mile grade one. At the top, we've got Add Insult to Injury for Joshua Sullivan, Benny Hill, David Robertson, Cab on Target, John Morgan, Cottage Wine, Craig Beckwith, Desidge Strange, James Shea, Feel the Fear, Craig Beckwith, Glamist and Jimmy Hats for Alex Cherry, Sierra Vista Cheese, Vinnie Gerard, Sudden Excuse, Darren Thompson, Zaru Zeus for Padre Hogan, Casa Grande Smart for Vinnie Gerard, Isabella of Castile for Leon Vite Rensburg, Labrator Darren Thompson, Rapunzel Martin, and Rebel Run, Padre Hogan, Shot to the Heart, Joshua Sutherland, Twilight Wolf, Leon Vite Rensburg, and Witness Mischief, James Shea. A big field of 19 for this then. The opener on day two. And then away and racing. I guess it must be difficult to get into a three mile handicap hurdle this week. So we've got a huge feel for this one. I'm sure one or two of these would be in a suitable handicap if there was one available. And away and over the first. And shot to the heart is the leader from Benny Hill, right over on the far side, second. As they make their way towards the second flight. Only got 12 flights to take despite running three miles. Which I suppose is about right if you think about it, isn't it? Because it's normally eight over two. So with that. Half of that again, that is 12, so that's about right. It doesn't seem so many, does it, when you talk about the amount of fences they jump over when they're racing three miles, which is normally around the 20 mark. 18 to 22, I suppose, or something like that, but anyway. Not so much hurdling, and they are extremely well strung out because of those turns, and you can see that the early turn has really caused a problem in this race, and shot to the heart is probably 40 lengths clear off the back marker feel the fear and the one just in front of that is Labrator who's not without a chance of winning you would expect Rapunzel is also usually quite near the front is right out the back as well so they're over to third and this race has been turned into something of a procession thanks to that early turn and it's shot to the heart who's benefited from it most Benny Hill is in second that one's normally a leader a front runner as well so even he must have been slightly hampered, otherwise he'd be right up there with shot to the heart, you'd have thought. They're over the fourth. Glamist is third. And Rebel Run, Witness, witness Mischief. Then a Cab on Target. And adding some to Andre Cottage Wine. Zara Zeus and Dacid Strange. A little gap of a couple of lengths back to Casa Grande Smiles and Twilight Wolf. Well, 15 to 20 lengths behind the leader. And a further 10 behind them is the back marker Feel the Fear. So it's shot to the heart. Is clear in front from Benny Hill second, Glamist is third. They get over the fifth. Just it all safely over. Cab on target for John Morgan's move through to fourth. That's the head of the largest group. It's almost merged into one big group now, with the exception of probably the first three. There's a bit of a gap between each of them, but it's shot to the heart, who's still clear by about three to four from Benny Hill in second. Then Glamist is in third, Cam on target is fourth, then Dacid Strange and adding sorts of injury, Cottage Wine is after that, then Rebel Run, and after that Witness Mischief and Casa Grande Smiles, Twilight Wolf and Zaru's use, then comes the grey Jimmy Hats and Rapunzel who's making a bit of ground, then is the better of Castile after that one, and a sudden excuse, Sierra Vista Cheese, Labrator and finally Feel the Fear. This race is rapidly turning into something of a calamity for me now because I don't know they were strung up when I'm being dive bombed by a fly and I feel as I'm about to sneeze so whether we get to the end of this race or not goodness only knows but it's shot to the heart in front leading by a good five lengths Benny Hill is in second and Cam on target third Glamist is fourth Cottage Wine is fifth and add insult to injury and Dacid Strange with Rebel Run on their inside bit of a gap then to Casa Grande Smiles Witness Mischief and Zara Zeus as they get over the 8th and the stake there by Twilight Wolf back in the pack and the ones at the back are probably getting a bit closer but they've still got a lot of ground to make up and it's not like we've got a no hoper that's slipped out in front we've got one of the fancy ones out in the lead it's going to be difficult to catch as they get into the final mile shot to the heart then from Benny Hill then Cab on target, Rebel running really into fourth, and Glamist and Cottage Wine are next. And the two James Shea horses, Witness Mischief and Darcy Strange, had insult to injuries behind them. Zaru Zeus and Casa Grande smiles as they get over the ninth. That's four from home, Phil the Fear still the back marker. 
Rapunzel's dropped right to the back again. But it's shot to the heart. Been in the lead all the way. Coming to the third last, skips over it nicely. Benny Hills over it second. Rebel run is going well in third. Then comes Cab on target, Cottage Wine being pushed forward, then Glamis who's trying to get into it, Twilight Wolf is now starting to make a bit of a run as well, Zaru Zeus is not out of it either, neither Dusted Stranger Witness Mischief, it's difficult to see some of the ones from the back getting into it, Rapunzel's now the back marker, Feel the Fear is still well out the back as well, but Shot to the Heart is well clear, coming down to the second last, and Shot to the Heart will take the second last, five to six lengths clear of Benny Hill and Twilight Wolf, Rebel Run, then Glamis Cottage one and cab on target. Then Isabella of Castile trying to run on. There's still two and a half furlongs to go. Shot to the heart is still clear. But one or two of them are getting a bit closer now. Twilight Wolf moving into second. There's just one more flight to get over and shot to the heart. He's clearing the lead. Been in the lead all the way. Still leads by four to five lengths. Furlong and a half to go. One hurdle to get over. Benny Hill is in second. It looks like Twilight Wolf runners petered out completely. Glamis is running a massive race. Relics Cherry in third. They're coming down towards the final flight. And over it they go and shot to the heart. is well clear. And this race was won inside the first two furlongs. And shot to the heart. He's going to race up towards the line of not to call it impressive victory, but I think it was won really early on. Benny Hill was second, then Cam on target. Cottage one after that, all the way back to Rapunzel, who never got near. Well, a few of them never got within 20 lengths of the lead in that race. And so look at I from the winner. You've still got to win it. I think he got a bit lucky at the beginning. So shot to the heart for Joshua Sutherland, the winner. Benny Hill second for David Robertson. Cottage one third for Craig Beck with Cam on target fourth for John Morgan. And Zaru Zeus for Padraig Hogan was fifth looking at the ratings there's little doubt that he's probably one of the best horses in the race anyway probably only he's the stable companion one who was probably hampered the most by the turn at the start so probably nothing really much different would have happened anyway just maybe a different Joshua Southern horse might have won but there you go